What is up, YouTube people? It's your boy, Patty Ninja, and I've been streaming a lot of The Last of Us Part 1 Remake on Twitch recently, and outside of being a pretty obvious cash grab, call me a sucker, but I'm gonna buy this game anytime that they remaster it or remake it, just because it's one of my favorite games of all time. Outside of that, they have a pretty obvious reason to remake this game. They want to give as many people that didn't get a chance to play it originally or the original remaster a chance to play this game again. Kind of give them another excuse to play this game again because they do have an HBO series coming out next year and they want to pull in as many people as physically possible. The series is going to star Mando himself, Pedro Pascal as Joel, and fellow Game of Thrones alum, Bella Ramsey as Ellie. And we've gotten a little bit about this show, kind of just like bits and pieces. Uh, but a couple of days ago, we did get the first official teaser trailer. And that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to, I'm going to walk you through my thoughts on the teaser trailer. So without further ado, let's rock. All right. So I got the teaser trailer pulled up and we're just going to walk through it. So let's go. So the first thing that I want to mention is I love the music. It reminds me a lot of Dawn of the Dead, that remake, The Man Comes Around. All right, I want to pause it right there. So this is my first clue that the people working on this show really want to take what's great about the game and put it in the show. You got to have the watch. Joel's watch in the game as such an important piece of character development and i love that they put it in here and there's it's so prominent in the first teaser trailer that they put out so i know i'm pausing a lot and i know that's probably gonna bother people i can see the comments already but that's just how i operate i like to talk so this again is my second clue that the people working on this really want to take what made the game great and bring it to the TV show. And I know this seems a little silly. It's kind of a small thing that they show in the trailer. But one of the things I love about The Last of Us and the second game as well is there's so much detail that they put into the environment. And one thing that I like paying attention to is some of this graffiti that you see throughout the show, or not the show, the the actual game. And so I'm gonna do that a lot, by the way. I'm gonna say game when I mean show and show when I mean game. And the fact that they're, again, they brought the watch. We already saw the watch like 10 seconds ago, and we're gonna see some graffiti too. So obviously they're making it a point to show us that stuff in the first trailer so they're making a point to be like hey i know you guys love these games we're gonna put a lot of that cool stuff from the games in this show the grass in the valley is so i don't know why she's chained up in there but it's obviously ellie because you have her chucks so i'm curious to see if that's when she gets tricked by those guys, I'm actually currently, if you watch my streams recently, I just got to that part in my streams where she kind of gets tricked by those guys with the deer while Joel, Joel is hurt. So I'm curious if that's where she gets locked up. Out in the darkness, the whipper wills cry. The darkness is All right, again, I'm gonna have to pause it here. So this bothers me. So we had the first two clues that they're bringing a lot of cool stuff from the games to the show and that gets me excited. But this scene right here gets me a little nervous because it reminds me a lot and a lot of shows and movies do this. So it's not just this show's fault, but it's just the example that came to my head is a lot of shows and movies will put scenes that have like big CGI scenes they will put them at night to kind of hide some of the bad CGI. And I'm not saying that's what this scene is, but it would be very disappointing if that was the case. Because in the recent uh, Resident Evil show, there's this big scene at night and I couldn't see what the hell was going on. And this scene right here is really, really dark. 
And so I hope that that's not the case because there's some really cool stuff that happens in the game that happens at night. And so if those scenes are in this show and it's this dark and it's kind of hard to see. And again, I like the environment of these games. It might, it might seem weird and might uh, say more about me than it does about the game, but I really like the, the post-apocalyptic world that they created in the in the games and to kind of see that glossed over by just like these really dark shots would be very disappointing the sky has turned gray the hound in the distance is starting to fade so that noise of the clicker it feels like they just took that straight from the game because it sounds just like it it's insane So I'm assuming that this is supposed to be Tess right here. I didn't look at the entire, let me pause it real quick. So I didn't look at the entire cast list for this show, but it does look like that's who that person's supposed to be. Also, it does look like Nick Offerman's playing Bill. So you only see him for like a split second right there. So that's obviously Nick Offerman. And I'm kind of torn about this casting. Because I love Nick Offerman. He is fantastic as Ron Swanson in Parks and Rec, obviously. But he's also just a really funny comedian. So I'm glad that he's in the show. Don't get me wrong. However, I loved W. Earl Brown in the original game. I thought he did an awesome bill. He's an actual actor. Not that voice actors aren't actual actors but like he acts in live action stuff all the time and so why wouldn't they just cast him as bill he's a fantastic actor he's an awesome dude i actually met him at a galaxy con he signed my last of us uh remaster copy my my video game and i was so super excited he was a really cool guy he talked to me for like 10 minutes about uh, mandalorian season two because he's actually in season two so they were filming it at the time well i guess he he had filmed his stuff already and so yeah he's a really cool guy so i'm torn because i like nick offerman but i was kind of bummed that they didn't have him in in the show so the keep her alive So I'm assuming that part with the truck is the beginning of the game. And then of course you see the clicker and it looks it looks awesome. It looks so cool. Say who you can say. Oh please understand. And then we get the the duo on horseback, which is really cool. I will say real quick, you do get to see a little bit of snow in the trailer not a ton but you do get to see a little bit of snow and that for me that's really cool because i love the aesthetic of snow so i just the more you can get that the the more i'm gonna like the show all right so that's the trailer so as far as the trailer is concerned if you listen to my podcast the nerd you're looking for you know, I'm not a big fan of trailers. I don't like when trailers give too much away. And one thing that I loved about this particular trailer is it didn't do that. There was a lot of quick cuts. So there was a lot of stuff to digest in the in the short trailer, but it doesn't give too much away. Now, of course, as you just saw, I guessed a lot. I mean, I've played these games so much that I, I kind of gave an educated guess what I think is going on in some of these scenes. So, of course, if you know a lot about the games like I do, you can do that with, with this trailer, but it doesn't actually give you any information. My main concern with this show is that the games are so good. The first game is one of my favorite games of all time, and the second game I thought was a very, very good sequel. So both games are very good. Outside of the financial gain of making this show on HBO, why make the show? If the, the story that they tell in the first two games is so good, which it is, as an artist, how are you going to approve upon that show? Or that story, excuse me. 
It just doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. If it's just gonna be a shot for shot adaptation, then why do it? Yeah, I love the story, but if I wanna experience the story, I'll just play the game. I don't need the, the series. So I'm curious to see how they're going to uh, improve upon the story if they can even improve upon the story so that's my main concern obviously this teaser trailer didn't address that concern just because it's a teaser trailer and i didn't expect it to to be honest with you but that's my main concern going into this series as far as the trailer i did enjoy the trailer there was a lot of cool references which is another concern going into video game adaptations because we see this a lot it seems like most of them are made by people that don't give a shit about the source material we saw that with the halo series which i did have a full review of the first season of the halo series on my youtube channel but it got taken down so apparently you can't say anything bad about that show so i guess i shouldn't even bring it up here but a lot of times these adaptations are made by people that don't give a shit about the source material. Obviously, this is the rare case where the person that made, or one of the people, I should say, that made the game is also helping with the, the TV show. So that's good to see for sure. And there was just a lot of cool references from the game in, in this teaser trailer. So that does give me a little bit of hope. But of course, that's just my opinion. Let me know if you, what you thought of the trailer or what you expect from the show as well in the comments below. All right, so if you like this video, I post gaming related videos every single Friday. So consider subscribing, dinging that bell. That way you don't miss any of my content. I am streaming on Twitch. I'm streaming The Last of Us remake, as I, I said a couple of times in this video. I stream every Monday and Wednesday. I also post clips from that to my TikTok. All of that is Patty McNinja. So if you want to check out any of those things, the links will be in the video description. But also, again, it's just Patty McNinja on both of those platforms. But until next time, take it easy, guys. What's up, YouTube people? It's your boy, Patty McNinja. And this is my boy, Yoshi, aka Kitty Boy. And we were just talking, and we agree that since you made it this far in the video, you might as well subscribe. You wouldn't want to disappoint Kitty Boy, would you?